Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. A couple of months ago, I showed you guys the power of dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging, you could do in many different ways. One of the ways I showed you was that if you had $1,000 to invest right now, that you should not invest all $1,000 into one stock at any given moment. What I said that you guys should do, this is called dollar cost averaging, is buy $100 this week, and then eventually, if the price pulls back the next week, buy another $100. If the price pulls back some more maybe buy two hundred dollars so every time the price pull back your dollar cost averaging down and if the price is just fluctuating going up and down every single week then you just buy a hundred dollars every single week and that way you'll get an average price you're not buying the very top of a stock and you're not buying the very bottom of a stock so you're kind of averaging your price to where you have a median price and you did not have to worry about timing the stock market using that strategy over time statistically has shown that you are able to outperform the stock market without ever worrying about having to check the price every single day. Now, the strategy of dollar cost averaging that I'm doing inside of my portfolio is that I'm investing $5 into three different stocks every single day. It's been a little over one month for one of my stocks and around six months from the other two stocks that I've been investing into $5 every single day. So that's a total of $15 every single day I'm investing into these three different stocks. So I know you really can't get an average just over a month and a half and six months of investing. This strategy usually takes 10, 15, 20 years because when stocks swing down, it takes usually around a year to recover. So you'll be buying the dip for an entire year other than buying high and selling low. You'll be buying low and letting it ride right on back up over the next couple of years whenever a stock take a dip so this is the strategy that i use when the market is fluctuating and are pulling back so i'm going to let you know what three stocks i'm investing into in this video exactly how are they performing some are doing pretty well and some aren't doing not so good but just remember it is still early and then i'm going to show you guys my projections on how much i should have by the time i'm ready to retire just by investing five dollars a day that is something that i think anyone would any kind of job can do even if you're working at mcdonald's so if you buy starbucks every day coca-cola every day a red bull every day this is a strategy that you can use just by eliminating one thing from your day that you can live without and take that money and dollar cost average it into the stock market so this is a strategy that any advanced trader could use and any beginner investor can use so yes this video is meant for everyone out there but before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit any amount of money. If you sign up with Webull, you'll receive three free stocks. If you deposit any amount of money, you'll receive another two free stocks. All of these stocks combined could be valued up to $9,600. With your five free stocks, you could keep them inside of the platform and decide to use it. Or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. Also, I left a link in the description to Coinbase. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Um, sign up with Coinbase and use my code down in the description and you'll receive a 10 free dollars worth of Bitcoin when you sign up. And the last free stock opportunity, which is probably the best right now, is with Moomoo. Right now, if you sign up with Moomoo and you just sign up, you'll get a free stock worth up to $3 to $3,500. Uh, if you deposit any amount of money you could deposit one penny if you want to you'll receive another free stock valued up to three thousand five hundred dollars and you'll automatically get one free share of neo so this is going to be the um the best free stock opportunity once again once you get your free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those free stocks and withdraw your money guys it's free money do not miss out on these amazing opportunities but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video Welcome back dreamers. Here we are inside my Robinhood account. The three stocks that I invest $5 into every single day is ticker symbol VOO. That is an ETF. SPY, another ETF and ARKK. That is an active ETF. So let's take a look at the first one. Vanguard ticker symbol VOO. Of course I'm up because I've been investing. Um, I bought a share of them a very long time ago when it was around $292. But let's look at my reoccurring investment. Um, right here, I invest $5 every single day. That means my average price is just $394.43. And VOO current price is $410. That means I'm currently up around 4% since I've been investing $5 every day in two VOO. Um, the amazing thing about Robinhood is that they keep track for you. Um, on February 22nd, 2022, uh, I 
initially started buying in at VRO at $394.51. And as you guys can see, my initial, my average price now is $394.43. So just by dollar cost averaging in while VRO was pulling back, if I would have threw in $1,000 on February 22nd, I would actually have a higher average price rather than throwing in $5 every single day on VRO. Um, I invested $25 last month and $95 since I've been starting to invest since February. February 22nd and I've bought around 0.24 shares worth of VOO. So by over the next 365 days, I have $1,255 invested into VOO. So if we take a quick look at VOO over the last month, as you guys can see, it's been up, it's been down, been up and down, up, down, up, down. So I've been buying the dips. I've been buying the peaks, which allows me to dollar cost average. And my average initial price on VOO is, is actually below the initial price I got in it. So for VOO, this strategy is working and I will remember it's only been one month so you really can't take any averages over one month because if you look at it over the course of a year or even five years they have a lot of peaks and valleys just like that that come through to where you're able to buy the highs and you're able to buy the lows let's move over to the second stock that I dollar cost average in on to and that is SPY SPY is another ETF that had its ups and downs over the last month um, three months and of course over the last year they had their peaks they had their valleys and if we take a look at VRO, I'm actually down uh, a little under a full percent. So I'm down $7, but hopefully we can make that back soon. Let's take a quick look at it. Now on SPY, I started investing in them on August 9th, 2021 at a price of $442 right there at the top. As you guys can see, my average price is $449. So I am still um, in the negative on SPY. But it's not as bad if this could have been if I was only buying it when SPY, which is tracks the top 500 companies in America. If I was only buying um, this company when it was at their all time highs, that would have not been good. Last month, I invested ninety five dollars in total to date. I invested seven hundred and seventy five dollars. So I accumulated a little over one point seven two shares worth of SPY. So SPY is right along the plus or minus one. Sometimes I'm down 1%, sometimes I'm up 1%. So as long as SPY continue to go up, this is an average that I would love to have because I know oh, in the long term, this is gonna make me a lot of money in the future. And just for me investing $5 a day, something I'm not really gonna notice missing from my bank account, although, you know, it does add up. Um, just for me investing $5 a day over a long period of time, I already have $767 in market value in just one company. Before we dive into the third stock, if you guys would like to join the Patreon, that link is down in the comment section over in the Patreon that will take you to my Discord. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks, not just my reincurring investments, but every single time I buy and sell stocks, I post my option trades in there. I post my cover calls and my cash to puts. We also have a great community of traders over there that have a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place. So if you want all that knowledge all in one place with a great community of traders that can help you out at any given time, check that link out down in the comment section. We also have pro option traders in there that post their option trades every single day. People are copying these option trades, are finding a, a lot of success inside of the Discord. So if you so if you want to have the opportunity to be a part of an amazing community, check that link out down in the comment section so let's move over to the last company i invest into which is an active etf arc a r k k now arc as you could tell over the last three months is down 30 percent. so of course we got in at the high but we also been dollar cost averaging down this is us buying five dollars every single day every single time this market has been pulling back but once again just because you've been invested for three months that is not an average at all you need to average over years not months because if you're looking over the last five years and you was only buying at the top when it was $156, uh, <laughs> you will be very pissed off by now just because it's pulled back all the way to $65. So you want to buy the very tops and buy the very bottoms of these companies because when they initially recover, you want to make money before they go all the way back to your initial investment. So although we are down 30.74% over the last three months, we are just down uh 29.19 percent all right so we take a look at the initial investment um on august 29th we saw so august night we bought in at 
$124 and our average price is $92 so as long as ARC is at $65 um, the number on the left the $92 is going to continue to drop every single time we buy five more dollars worth of ARKK once again we invested $775 into ARKK that accumulated us 8.34 shares worth of this ETF so if you guys do want to set up an auto investment this is how you do it you hit trade you hit buy and at the top right where it says shares you want to click that and there's a button right here called reincurring investment you can pick every single week every two weeks every month but for me i pick every single day every market day monday through friday and then you could pick exactly how much you want to invest you can invest a little so you can invest as little as one dollar a day probably all the way up to thousands of dollars per day but if you want to just start off with a dollar see how that goes or right, bumping up to five dollars just like i do that is exactly how you do it inside of the robin hood portfolio all right so here we are on the portfolio visualizer i'm going to show you guys the power of investing um dollar cost averaging into the market um over time so not just months that's the data that i have inside of my portfolio it's just months but let's take a look if you do this over years so here we are let's say we started off with a thousand dollars and we invested two hundred dollars every single month over the last couple of years um in portfolio one we have spy um, VOO portfolio two and ARKK portfolio three. So this is us investing two hundred dollars every single month into these three different um, ETFs. So let's analyze the portfolio. All right, so here we go right here, all the way from two thousand fifteen. That's when ARKK was made to two thousand and twenty-two. So just investing two hundred dollars a month over the last six years, you'll have a portfolio of around thirty-four thousand dollars in SPY. $34,000 in VRO and $42,000 in ARKK. So yes, although ARKK is down right now, uh, if you dollar cost average in, um, you will be outperforming VOO and SPY by a significant amount. So that's why I continue to um, invest $5 into ARKK every single day because they are an active ETF. It's going to be a lot more risky than SPY and VOO, but this is that's the little opportunity that I take by playing a safe strategy on a more risky ETF like ARKK. So let's take out ARKK and we could look at the long term of voo and spy so analyze portfolio if we take out arkk we go all the way back to 2011 to 2022 so once again starting off with a thousand dollars investing 200 dollars every single month right now we have seventy two thousand dollars in spy amazing and with voo we have seventy three thousand dollars which is yes as you guys can see dollar cost averaging make this line very stable and have a great um linear curve going up into the positives now let's take out um voo and look at the last 30 ish years or so from spy hit analyze portfolio and there we go from 1994 all the way to 2022 uh 27 26 years 26 years maybe around give or take we'll be investing one thousand dollars and we have a, a final balance of 451 thousand dollars which is insane guys almost near a uh, half a million dollars so once again if we started off with two hundred dollars every single month that's two thousand four hundred dollars a year times what's this 20 let's just say 28 years times 28 years you will have only invested around sixty thousand dollars sixty five thousand dollars but you'll have a final balance of $451. So that is the power of dollar cost averaging into the market. Yes, just with only $200 a month or $5 a day, long term into good quality stocks, but whether they have the ups or down, it's statistically shown that you would do well inside of the stock market given a, a certain time frame, not months, but years. And there we go, dreamers. That is the three stocks I invest into, um, SPY, ARKK and VLO. Once again, um, dollar cost averaging is not an average if you're just averaging weeks or months. It's an average if you're continuing to do it over years at a time. And right now, I'm, I'm on track. VLO is looking pretty good. SPY is looking pretty good. And I am getting ARKK while it's on sale because they did outperform both of those over the last six years. I would still be up, guys. So that is one that I'm going to continue to dollar cost average in on. Once again, if you want to be a part of a great community and be uh, and know every single time I buy and sell stocks, that link is going to be down in the comment section to join the patreon which take you to my discord 
Last thing, if you are already dollar cost averaging in and already have reincurring investments, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to check those out and, and let me know how they're performing. Since the market been, been pulling back, you're probably, you've probably been dollar cost averaging down and getting in at an amazing price. I want to know all about what stocks you guys are investing into down in the comment section. But before we go, don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Weeble, amazing opportunity guys, and also with Mumu, that is probably the one, one of the best opportunities I've seen in a very long time, guys. Don't miss out on free money. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out, peace.